Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's an often heard refrain across college football. You'll hear players say, we want to win this one for our seniors. Two excellent groups of seniors tonight. One of them will get the ultimate prize, a national championship. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Game festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. The kick is away, and the national championship is underway. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. There are five wide receivers without the quarterback in the gun. Makes the catch and look out, brought down at the 46-yard line. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. They come out in a five-wide set. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Tackle made at the 50. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play-action, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at but make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target for the quarterback. From their own 42-yard line, second down. There's the strike complete, and no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. I really thought the defense had a chance to get their hands on it, but the ball went out of bounds first. That's got to be disappointing. Bring him down for a sack on the play. Herbie, we had a chance to see this kid a year ago, and he was sensational. If he's anything like he was last year, look out this season. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. I've got to tell you, I'm really surprised that they aren't going to just punt this ball away. Going deep, lays it out there. Incomplete, almost picked off. Big stop by the defense. What a play by the defense. There's no doubt that their mind is on that national championship. And they're playing every... Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Taken down at the 36. That brings up second and one. It 
second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they make the stop at midfield. That's his 60th reception of the year. Is it safe to say that this quarterback likes throwing the ball to this kid? They'll bring him down at the 35. Yard line. First down. He's tackled at the 22. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. Across the middle, tight end's got it. And down he goes, and about the three yard line. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They're crowding the line. And he has it on the corner. Touchdown, Georgia State. And for Goss, he's now the school's all time leader in rushing touchdowns. Once he knew he was near the record, he was probably asking for the ball. <laughs> Why not? He's meant so much to this offense and to his team. It's good to give him that honor. And he converts the extra point. A six-play, 73-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. The score now, 7-0. Georgia State is lining up to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Panthers are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do. For the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Both teams getting closer to the championship as we wrap up the first quarter. The score, 7-0, Panther. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Georgia State up seven points. Quick strike to the receiver. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. But not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass run. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he tackles him hard at the 47. He airs it out. What a pick. And he's level at the 12. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he hits him hard at the 42-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Quick throw, almost intercepted. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. run and he's brought down in the backfield. Two yard loss for the halfback. Yeah. 
So they're going to go for it here. This is a very questionable play call here. I'm not sure I agree with it. Wide out makes the first down catch. And he's tackled at the 46. Georgia State is up seven. Tackle around the 22-yard line. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. On play action, touchdown. one worked just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. And he adds the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 66-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Goss looks ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. As the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be living. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. He's knocked out immediately after the catch. From the 28-yard line, first down. And he's taken down at the 21. Witherspoon on the tackle at the 21-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Fights forward to about the 19. Gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Go down, go down. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, one back. One back. One back. Five. 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 The five. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Stepping up. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Terrific coverage. And when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. Got his receiver, touchdown. And 
he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia State's a type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're... They're ready to begin another drive. after a decent run up the gut. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Brought down right around the 48-yard line. Man, did he ever sell the run? The defense took the bait, and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch. it to the 44. A nice job by the offensive line and they pick up a gain of eight. That makes it second and two. On the fake, looking into the end zone. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made right around the 26-yard line. And for McDonald, he makes it 300 yards passing. You can tell the quarterback's done a really good job of preparing because he's read the defense like a pro all day long. quickly and he's got his man he's hit and taken down it's first down and they'll be looking for six points here quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. This is the eighth play of this drive. Touchdown, Panther. run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra points. An eight-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. So the score now, 28-0. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all this one great kick Georgia's having a hard time doing anything on offense right now well they've had some opportunities but they either turn the ball over or obviously don't execute on third down and they're forced to punt uh, or their drive uh... that 
This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this deep. Passes in, and it's picked off by the safety. He's taken down at the 33. quarterback comes back on the field and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive and we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out I would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more moves up in the pocket rolls to the right he's to the 40 he's knocked out of bounds at the 42 First and ten. Ball on their own 42. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That brings up second and one. tailback gains his way to the 40 yard line that makes it first and ten. first and ten ball on the 40 yard line five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun and he is drilled at the 19 yard line Second and 11. Ball on the 20. Less than three minutes in the game. Looks to the end zone. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. comes back out looking to improve from their last effort giving the ball away can rattle your confidence but he just needs to relax and not try to force it he's starting off in great field position now flares it and almost had it intercepted that makes it second and ten second down and ten to go ball on the 25 five wide He's hit before he can go anywhere. Another catch, and he's up to 100 yards now. Yo, know, this guy continues to make plays, and what this can do is force the defense to have to double team. And if a defense starts to double team a wide receiver, it opens up avenues for other wide receivers and also the running game to try to exploit the defense. And in the national championship, to stand out like this is really special. Nice run there. Goss gains about four yards on the play. The Bulldogs will use their first time out of the half. Second down and goal. One yard to the goal line. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Georgia will have one timeout remaining. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Touchdown, Georgia State. He 
he's having quite a game. Three rushing touchdowns now. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. And he converts the extra point. Georgia State to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Georgia's are really used to having everything go their way on offense, and that hasn't been the case today. Hasn't been the case. You know, the offensive coordinator, I think, may have looked at this game as... As if it was... The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Man left, man left. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. He pumps once. Under heavy pressure. Pass incomplete. Trying to get it to his receiver. Johnson's intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and 13. the 32 it's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down Boy, what a throw by the quarterback almost equally excellent catch by the receiver but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop the Panthers taking their first time out of the half it's fourth down and the offense is getting set to go for it Quick strike to the receiver. Big play, and it's first and goal. Got his tight end touchdown. Makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. Georgia State in control. That's a great tackle at the 24-yard line. That was a loss of four yards. That makes it second and 13. Six yard line. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game Georgia State 42, Georgia 14. So, what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? What a year of college football, and what a year it's been for our national champs. They showed more heart and determination than any team I've seen in a long time. There were doubters during the season, but they continued to prove everybody wrong. 
Now they're down on the field as the number one team in college football. My congratulations to everybody on the team. They showed the nation what it takes to be number one. Take a look at our choice for today's player of the game. He made a big contribution to his team's win. For Georgia, this loss will put a damper on what's been a great year.